Hello, I'm Anthony Romrell. We're going to finish off this pig. So I've finished the ears and I've finished the arms and the leg in just its basic shape. So the plan now is to show you a bit more tips about edge flow and cleaning things up. So I'm going to take a look at my pig, see if I like the edge flow and if I don't or whether I do or not. Um, I'm also going to show you some other tools. So one of the tools I want to show you when you're about this far is mirroring. First thing to know about mirroring is that it doesn't always work exactly as expected. So I'm going to go to edge mode and I'm going to double click this edge. This is an open edge here. It's a loop, but it's open. And I'm going to go to my front view and you can see if I zoom into my front view that it's not entirely clean. What that means is it, the edge isn't entirely on zero or if it is, then you're going to want to whether it is or not, you're going to want to correct it. So what you're going to do is you're going to double click the, the move tool and you're going to go and turn off a certain select setting and that is retain component spacing. This, this is currently off. This is what I want. This is on. This is off. By turning it off, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold the X key. And by turning it off, it's going to actually snap all these edges here to zero. Now this is going to make it so that this is perfectly ready to mirror. I'm going to right click and go to object mode. I'm going to close the move tool settings. And I am going to mirror the object by going to mesh and mirror geometry. Now I'm going to go to the option box. And when I do it, I make sure I have negative Y. And I turn off merge with original because I want to see how it's going to look first before I merge all the verts. And I just hit mirror. And it makes a duplicate side of the pig. And it looks nice and clean. Now, these vertices are not merged, but I do have a nice mirror. And if I wanted to do a finalize and merge all these vertices, I would then go to Edit Mesh and Merge. Now all these vertices should be merged along this edge where they previously were not. You want to make sure that when you have finished your model to a certain point, right now this is about 700 faces, you can see in your heads up display, which by the way, if you want to show the heads up display, you just go to display, heads up display, and polygon count. So um, I got to this point here. One thing you want to always remember is while you're modeling, you want to make sure that you get rid of these inputs. This input set is called history. And although they have value, at a certain point, you want to make sure that you clear this out on occasion, especially when you're to the finishing phases. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to go to Edit, Delete by Type, and History. Now this list is cleared out.